yet. It's still sitting. You get the idea. Perfect. Okay, so here in the rusty trunk, I'm pretty sure that this, whoa, was that a moth that just flew out of here? This is the CPU. I don't know, Bosch? We've got Bosch numbers on it. Uh, we did not do this, by the way. I don't know why it's held in with uh, with that zip tie, but, you know, uh, looking at the manual, I thought I saw something about it saying that was the CPU. Filter cap. Fuel filter cap. Wow. All sorts of electronics that are malfunctioning <laughs> in this this old vehicle here right here. See that's that's not right right there. It's like chewing gum or tar or something. So we've had some crazy dry heat and I've had this lid open. Uh, I've had to reopen it for sometimes it falls over at night, but uh, we've let it sit and dry. Let this thing dry out in the heat for the last week or so. Haven't had any rain. Been dry as a bone out here. So, see if that thing's dry enough to pull off of there. First, I want to make sure that that really is the CPU. Onboard diagnostics in 1989. Oh yeah, this thing is like the kit car or something. <laughs> yes, it wasn't real functional when my son was driving it and now it's the dashboard's blinking on and off and it's it's got issues. This little handbook is pretty dang cool. Jaguar XJ6 maintenance handbook. And then you got you got this going on. Look at that. By appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, manufactured at Daimler and Jaguar Cars, Jaguar Limited. This is just cool. That's when they made these cars in the UK, in Great Britain. There we go. By appointment to Her Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, manufactured of Daimler and Jaguar Cars, Jaguar Limited. It's uh, warranty information. I think we're beyond that at this point. <laughs> Service station maintenance. I'm trying to find a CPU, and I did have the, uh, oh boy, maintenance schedules. Here we go. Intervals, 1,000 miles. Times thousand months, oh, miles and months. So there we go. Seven thousand miles. Okay. Interesting. The old Jag. We're trying to find a power hydraulic system. Yes. Mineral oil. That's right. Care must be taken to ensure that. At all times, only clean hydraulic system mineral oil is used in the system and any overhauled units or components are not exposed to contamination during assembly or filling. Yeah, it takes mineral oil, this is true. Cooling system, specific gravity. Wow. Okay. And the fuse boxes. Yeah, that's where they're located. Fuse box location. Both sides. This one says there's one in the rear. Mine doesn't have that, but I believe this is my CPU. And it doesn't say anything. It just says 
accessory fuse box. Where fitted. Accessory fuse box located in the luggage compartment behind the left hand side carpet. And yeah, it contains six fuses. There's no fuse box there. But there is this blinker uh, module thing, and I believe that's the CPU. Okay, well, there's no information on what, what that is. That'd be nice to know. It says Bosch on it. Mm. Battery information. Check top battery electrolyte. That's uh, Gatorade, right? Get some electrolytes in you. Yeah, right. One big windshield wiper. They even have uh, tire information. Tires. And they spelled tires wrong. <laughs> that's a, I guess that's a British thing. I don't know. Do they still spell tires like that in the UK? Anybody from Britain watching this, let me know. It's like, wow. United States Department of Transportation uniform tire quality grades. Yep. A, B, and C. I did a whole video on tire. Look at that. Examples of where in the owner's manual nice camber wear camber and caster age of deterioration that's what's going on right now with this old jaguar age deterioration all right well there you go fuse chug oh nice hey that could be some Good information right there. Seems as how I don't have the fuse chart for the right side. Oh, here we go. Right hand fuse box. All these works, it says. That's some good information right there. Recommended lubricants. Asbestos. Warning. Contains asbestos. Brakes. Brake thing they did back in the day. Alright, well. Here goes something. Afraid I'm gonna break the housing. Nope. Alright. That has been removed. And be on the safe side with the electronics. I'm going to remove this here positive battery terminal. Yep. There it goes. So right here. Looks like it pulled back. My hand's in the way, but yeah, see that pulls back. All right, well, it looks like it comes right out of here. Like that, might be a better access. There it goes. Mm -hmm. See what these look like in the light with some corrosion, but don't look too bad. What's that one there? That looks. Ugh. Might need some cleaning up, but it's still got some corrosion in there for sure. All right, so using my pick here to kind of knock off some of the corrosion inside here. See some of that. So yeah, I got the old wire brush here. Trying to get in there and get after some of that corrosion, at least that one. Will this work? I don't know. 
couple of the try. Troubleshooting. One bad connection can mess up your day. So that one looks pretty bad right there. Center screen, right? Yep, out here on the patio furniture. Scrubbing down some contacts. I'm just gonna scrub down these too. This has got some gel in it still. This one had constant problems. All right, so clean those up. Installing a circuit panel. Clean this up a little bit. All right, so this is all cleaned up. CPU, EPU, I don't know. All right. This guy back in here. Oh boy. It's a tricky part. Come on. There it goes. All circuitry back in its proper place. And yep, that needed two hands. Alright. Put my battery terminal back on. Okay, people, here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, I have nothing. I have no... It's like the battery died or something. Oh, man. Okay, there's the trunk light. I've been leaving the trunk open. Yeah, it doesn't get dark here till like 10 o'clock at night, so... Didn't realize the old trunk light was on. All right. Jaguar. All right, and I'm gonna let this guy sit here and do its thing. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Abandoned Jaguar. Like a haunted house. Keep watching, subscribe, I don't know, there's more to this, we're gonna figure it out. Do the best I can to get this thing back on the road, shabby chic style. Gotta keep Wait. one of these flowing, keep the plants alive. Oh yeah, the electric trimmer. This pond is gonna go here. I'm gonna fill in that one. Because that one was full of pine needles. I wonder why. It's under for this tree. Always gonna get some water and cleaned up. Yep.